welcome to Dungeon Damsels, everyone! Woo! <laughs> so tonight we um we're starting off with a with a um spotlight. Michael, do you have anything? Uh, I do. Let's, let's see how this works. We have a new setup, so uh, everything's everything is a little weird. I'm not sure if I'll be able to share this uh, on the, through our live recording, but let's just see how it goes. Magic nights. But yeah, it's basically it's just, just it's just magic girl centric RPG where it's like a slice of life. You're in high school, and it's heavily, yeah, heavily inspired by that. And they, they have a Kickstarter that will be going live in May. May. So we've got, got a few months before it starts up, but I'll be closer to it. But yeah, they're, they're, they're very, very small and just getting started, started so, so let's, uh, let's, let's show, show them some love. love. Yeah, yeah, it looks fun. Yeah. Imagine it. And I'm pretty sure, sure this is uh, based off of 5D. Mm hmm. Friend. There we go. It's like I finally was able to get the shot of it up. How's that? Imagine it at Magic on Twitter. Cool. Alright. Drop. Last episode, we had a team assembled to prevent the abduction of Lionel, Luna's brother. Some nefarious vampires wanted to take Lionel. Because he's super hot, basically. And turn him. <clears throat> the team clambered up the walls of the house. And uh, as the curtains were drawn and thwarted their efforts to get inside magically, then a charmed Lord Mark takes a swing at his own daughter. Luna gets inside and calls out to her brother. And through the power of sibling love and a natural 20, she breaks his charm and he refuses to go. The vampires then to decide then decide to cut their losses and fly away. Kiara watches in a fury because she wanted another dance with her uncle's murderer. With Lionel safe at home, the damsels think they can take a breather. And the bracelet starts to flash to remind you that Kaothi is in fact in danger. <laughs> Where's your father? <laughs> yeah. Kaothi, meanwhile, was kidnapped by her brother Thranian. He explains to her that their grandfather is a dragon and he wants them home. Kaothi complies with her brother's schemes because he also has Aravan, Kaothi's friend, held captive. Is this by a stroke of luck or fate? A mysterious voice enters Kaothi's head. She hears the thoughts of Nualia, who is not a ghost. I just thought I'd clarify that because Michael thought she was a ghost. She's just really good at hiding. That's why she could disappear. She's a rogue. And, uh, <laughs> so yeah, now, obviously. Yeah. So Noelia reveals that she's been acquainted with Arturo and has been in the Feywilds for about a decade or so, but you know, time's kind of weird here. Um, she also reveals that she's Aravan's sister that, um, and they had been separated when they were younger. With Noelia's help, um, Kaanthi was able to wake up Aravan, take him in her arms, and then leap out of a window valiantly. And then uh, Theranian was outside trying to compel Kaanthi with a spell to duel him. And it is at this time that Aravan wakes up, turns into a. I decided to be a giant elk, if that makes sense to me. And um, Nuwalia hops on him, and then they go and grab Kaanthi and ride off into the woods. <laughs> The natural prey of the direwolves. Yes, yes, the natural. Yes, I mean we have giant elks, we have giant wolves, so the the, the cycle goes on. Good luck, Aravan. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to the Arnold estate, and um, uh, so the uh, the fog has is clearing. the The vampires are flying off into the distance. And Luna, you're next to your brother Lionel. He just kind of lets out this sigh, like, "Well, that could have gone better." Sorry, you cut out. Yeah. Okay. What was that? 
It's like, well, I don't know. I just, he told me that we were going to go someplace nice. And it was really confusing because he's super gay and he brought like two super hot ladies. But I was like, okay. And then he said, if I didn't like it, he'd take me back home. So I was like, okay. And you believed him? I mean, he's very oh. convincing. She's also a vampire, so you know. Yeah, like she just comes down. You like pull your sword out of the wall. <laughs> she's just like, okay. She's also a vampire, so you know. Persuasion happens to be in the skill set. Yeah, your, your first hint should have been them turning into bats. That's not normal, right? I mean, they didn't show up as bats. <laughs> No, but they did show up in your room after dark. His mother is a druid, though, so... Yeah, yeah I mean, that's not incredibly weird. Not here. I guess that's kind of normal here. Yeah, it's a little normal here. And then, and then like, I mean, my best friend's half drow. Like, he doesn't like the sun, so, you know, I, don't, I try not to judge people. I just... just... <laughs> maybe not judge, but maybe show a little bit of discernment when it comes to where, why, and how. <laughs> sort of like pats him on the shoulder, like. Yeah. You're right yeah, there, Ellie. That, that wasn't my best moment, was it? It was not. <laughs> He's just like, well. Thanks for saving me, sis. <laughs> just gives you a punch in the shoulders and just kind of like shakes, like. Come on, my enough. Thanks for saving me, sis. <laughs> Why? <laughs> just gives you a punch in the. I have a negative. To my intelligence, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I made dad stab like, me. I have a negative. To my like, dad dead? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, dad stabbed me. Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? Dad stabbed me. Okay, okay well, I mean, maybe we should get you to a mom so you can hear or something. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I like to think that uh, Lionel like is probably like, oh, yeah, you need some healing. And then Ellie suggested that he just gets a look at KR, who's just covered in blood. <laughs> yeah, it, it's at this point that uh, Golok comes down and he's just like, I got one of them. Well, all the way out. This still flew away. But uh, and then he, he goes over to Lionel and he just punches him in the face. He's just like, stop being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for a pretty face. <laughs> and it's just <laughs> this sigh. <laughs> um, downstairs, you can hear footsteps coming in, and you hear Jade calling out, Lionel? And then Mark's voice, Pumpkin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Kelly, get down. <laughs> it's just like, sorry. Lionel calls back, I'm here, Ma! Oh, good. I mean, I'm pretty sure your dad did it out of love, right? I mean, that's usually what parents do. At least their explanation for things. He likely I mean, yeah. did it out of, he didn't know what he was doing. That, that too. Oh, man. Uh, I, I look at Kiara and I see, like, all the blood. And I'm like... I wish I had precipitation like Chianti, but like, and I just like wave my my staff and just do druid craft, and I don't know, just <laughs> pollen comes out. <laughs> make your blood dance. <laughs> yeah, I can't make you clean with this. Why? Why? We need to find Chianti. Our bracelets were going off. Um, yeah, oh yeah, we could ignore Wait, that. Is she outside of the others? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is she outside of the others? I mean, I thought she would be here if Lionel was in trouble. Like, is her date with Aravind going bad, or like... Oh. She's on a date? Uh, <laughs> Kira, on a date? A long time. Like... Jade, it, Jade comes upstairs at this point, and she's like, well, they haven't come home at all. And, and Mark decided to stay downstairs. He's just like, he's moping. Yeah. He's sitting with the dogs like this. <sighs> <sighs> Just hanging out with all the dogs, like, I don't know what I did wrong. Well, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I strapped the dogs, too. I reach into oh my, my bag, I bring out my bubble pipe, and I'm like, well, there's no way that we can chase the, the vampires. They kind of, there's no tracks or any way we could track them. I think we should probably worry about Chaonthi first. Yeah, I agree. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, what? there is a fire going on. Hopefully she didn't get caught up in that. <laughs> Maybe she caused the fire. She is No, no, I'll take responsibility for that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah like, you know, when there was like this just like flames like, like <laughs> Wait, you set fire to the forest? It's uh so yeah, I did. I needed a signal flare. Of, I, I lacked a signal flare. And then uh, Jade's like, oh, um, maybe I should help with the fire. Does anyone need anything? Still- Are you okay? And then she'll, she'll cast, she'll just bring up her, uh, like, spirit of healing again. So, just have this little, uh, like, sparrow that, like, floats around you guys. And- do, do we just get all our health back by standing there for a couple minutes? Yeah. 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 Okay. And it's at this point that. What's that on your hand? <laughs> it's bright. Oh yeah. Uh... Oh these. <laughs> yeah. Blink, it was just blink. bright. What is that? that um, oh. the little red one means that Chaotic's in trouble. It's a long story. <laughs> it's just, yeah, that look. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, our friend gave us these old bracelets with them, um, and one was given to Kianti and uh, Tarina, so we'd be able to know if they're ever in trouble. You know what, now that I think about it, maybe we should give the one that give Tarina's to you, so we could at least know I wanted what... to suggest that, but I didn't know if it was too soon. <laughs> Kira. Like, mm. <laughs> like a couple months at this point given travel time, so it's like the next season. Um, but Christian did say she wanted to keep Serena's. Mm-hmm. So you'll have to count these two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's at this point that, Ellie, you feel boink, lo- uh, light on your shoulder, which is weird because you didn't summon him. And he goes, Ellie! I, uh, gotta find my line. <laughs> he pulls out a script. I gotta find my line. <laughs> Hold it's on, like, this is really bulky. What? Did, we, we had rehearsal about this. Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Ellie! Kara does the office glance at every camera around the room. <laughs> There's like the little car guy on the side. <sighs> oh, okay. oh, our trainer came to visit, but then he saw Kayanti and some weird guy in the forest, so... He thought she was getting kidnapped, so he crossed them all over to the Feywilds. I just thought I should let you know. What? 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 Why the Feywilds? Why is Arturo here? Well, the Autumn Court's not that far. Really? Yeah. Arturo, Arturo, is that the hot one? Yeah, that's the hot one. Yeah. Kira yeah. does that little look again, like. Oh, Arturo, I see. Ellie begins to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. Oh. It's a buster. <laughs> well, he's got a lot of things, but not so much combat. So, he probably does the best thing to do. Um, so, you should probably come get her. Well, I'm glad How do we Arturo- go get her? Yeah. Well, I can bring you to a fairy circle, but I can only bring three people over. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be me, actually. Typically, um, he explains that, like, when people want to, when people, like, the best way to cross over intentionally to the Feywilds is to find a fairy circle and dance in it, and that way you summon Fey. And then basically, you convince them to let you come over, and, like, usually that's done by, like, giving them things, or by, like, dancing. Or, you know, making them mm. joyful. Well, and I point towards Kiara and Luna and then myself, and I'm like, well, that's three. I mean, Luna, how, how do you how do you feel? I mean, it looks like you have some magic back. Yeah, and um, the I'm curse, good at dancing. You are good at dancing. I got a flute. <laughs> and I can improvise, and I start punch my arms and um you you hear maybe it's one of those things where it's the thought that counts yeah lionel sees lionel's like they will i want to go i actually want to go there and you hear from downstairs mark no 
<laughs> yeah, and I do like the like the deep like. Sorry, there's already already three, and only three can go on this ride. He's just like, yeah. you're, like you're too tall for this ride. He like scuffs the ground. He's mad. He's upset. And um. I mean, but he is tall. He might be a hot commodity, and we might use him as a bargaining chip, like a roller coaster. <laughs> He's just like, just I put mean, people in the cart, have him hold them up like this, and then walk around like this, and then there you go. Lift, down. like the train in Fallout Three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or drop zone. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, and like this fair of circus or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So then, um, uh, like, <laughs> Mark is calling up from the, the bottom floor again. He's like, I'm not having another Nelda and Wilhelm incident. And <laughs> um, for those of you who don't remember, Nelda and Wilhelm were McKenna, uh, not McKenna's, uh, Luna's ancestors mm-hmm. that basically went, like, plane hopping and just vanished and never came back. So, they went on a party yeah. cruise yeah, and they like, never returned. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would like probably like take some time to like ask Luna and be like, oh, oh, "Who are they? What?" what are they? And yeah, so I explain. Expl- yeah, then I'd explain it. Like if we want, if you want to go downstairs, we can go to the shrine and I can show you some of the pictures. But yeah. Uh, and Jade says, "Well, I don't think it look, looks like your friend needs you." And right. And besides Lionel, they'll need someone to be hauling buckets into the fire. I mean, I'm pretty good at buckets. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, Lionel. Our favorite himbo. With our long line of himbos so in our camera. Yeah. I mean, they're just so great. Um, and, and bruh, they're the best, bruh. <laughs> Jade is just like, yes, they're there, dear. I think your father has an idea for you. You could go to the Feywilds, it'd be good for Luna anyway, because... Well, it's best if she's not around while we're trying to build her case to appeal to the court. She's like, we did. And I'm like, mm, we still need to handle that werewolf incident in Hillock. Oh, right. And she's like, yes, your father was talking about having Lionel go and appeal to other um, nobles. Well, what would you think of that, dear? He's like, and she's like, yes, but you're so charming. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take love with you. And he's like, oh, brown chick, yeah. This would be awesome. Uh, and then I'm going to appeal to the druids. I'll take Tabitha with me. We'll hopefully be able to build you a case. And um, we need a- how do we know Oda's not just going to completely sway the whole thing? Well, that's where oh, we're Well, then we have at. legs and an entire countryside to get lost in. She's like, well, if I know, well, if I know anything, right, right. it's that Lionel can convince a lot of people to do stupid things. Not that this is stupid, of course, but <laughs> she has this dubious look. Was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of, she just level, she just makes eye contact with Galak, who just like slowly like looks away <laughs> yeah he just kind of like looks away and he's like i remember a few things that two of you did and he's like well i mean now it's not the time to talk about that so yeah. don't focus on me you should focus on him <laughs> yeah i'm gonna um turn towards jada i mean not jada sorry jade jade jade, jade. not jada like jada is a champion. yeah exactly i keep getting that mixed up yeah i turn towards jade and i'm like you said that you're that we have to prepare a case? I mean, I know it's a court, but do do we really need to, is there a case we have to appeal to actually go into the Feywild? No, you just, you can take, we're basically taking Luna out of the heat so that people will come here and demand to see her and lock her up or whatever. If she's not oh. here, they can't take her. So, made a little bit of noise. There. Oh, I see, so yeah. It might actually be a pretty good move. And yeah, we'll need to build. We'll need to appeal to the other nobles to um, sway their vote. And it. And Mark's gonna go to the capital to find a really good lawyer. So right. that's our plan for right now. 
But you should focus on taking care of Kay on the. Um, that sounds more pertinent right now. Okay. Right. We'll go find a circle of fairies and you go. Uh, we'll clean up one mess, you take care of the other. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, she's like, oh, I have um, a few things I, that I, I think you should take. And. Um, <clears throat> so she. she you all go downstairs. And uh, are you still mad at, at your dad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you just like do you make that apparent? Does she have like uh, a I think so. Yeah. Okay. He's like she just. I she... like that arms crossed. Like. Yeah. You see Mark, and he's like, okay, and you're like, no. And he's just like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and then um. <laughs> so Mark uh, Jade goes and comes in. Out, comes out of the kitchen and she gives you some, basically some here we go she, uh... what was I, that? you went silent I was reading so um, we'll <laughs> actually jump over to Kristen right now because she, um, she we'll just stop at her going into she needs some love Yeah. and I've been just typing away on my own thing but can, before we before we switch over to me, can I just say I'm very entertained by the fact that when uh, Boink told you all that I was kidnapped, you're just like you're focused on hot Arturo being there versus your friend has been kidnapped. <laughs> and I, I just I appreciate. Mean, it. I wish like this one friend. I being really kidnapped. do. I honestly, I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, mean, it's like we already knew you, that something was amiss. Oh, that's great. Wait, the hot guy? Yeah, the hot guy. Okay, let's. <laughs> now that we've gotten him, like we have to acknowledge hot man, hot man. Okay, cool. Now let's go, let's go do the I real important thing. <laughs> At least we focus on time. you for longer than it takes us to be like that hot yeah. guy. Yeah, the hot guy. All right, cool. Well, thanks to him. Wait, how do we get there? <laughs> yeah, you saw that being kind of, I mean, I mean, you'd be excited too. So those biceps had biceps had biceps. Or two showed up. Yeah. Also different visages. So yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Confusing creature. Okay, okay. I've never seen Arturo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll just be a lock. Yeah, yeah, like, I, oh. I, yeah. I turn towards Luna. I'm like, he's really, really hot. hot. Like, like, he's, he's like, like, just, he's just glistening. I just, I just <laughs> start frothing at the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she does that. Kiara takes her by the shoulders and walks her towards the woods vaguely, where she, she's like, oh, I don't know where fairy circles are, but she's like, oh, he's a lot to take in. <laughs> Is that a euphemism or <laughs> just a lot? Like she she makes a gesture at her clothes, this but in a positive way. <laughs> Covered in blood, oh, ripped, oh, okay. just like not looking. She doesn't have her armor still. <laughs> oh, don't worry. That's a very oh. uncomfortable euphemism. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, we should we should get your. You ever armor. stare at the sun for long enough? It's that, except for you know, pleasant. <laughs> So that, I think that's the best description okay. I've ever yet. It's like staring in the sun, but you like it. <laughs> I like staring at this giant radiant ball of fire. I feel like fire. I have to write that down. That's really funny. <laughs> Which is really good. Staring at the sun, but pleasant. <laughs> and it's funnier coming from Kiara, because, you know, staring at the sun is incredibly painful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Super night vision eyes. It's just like... <laughs> like the sun is the epitome of a lot for Kiara's like that's a lot floating flaming ball of fire got it hey, the, the, the wind, wind whistles, whistles past, past you, you. Right, 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 right in the form of a giant elk it bounds, bounds across the, the, the rock, from rock to rock and root to root and Malia calls up turn, turn left and, and, and elk, elk dips down, down to the left, left as you scurry over a creek and bound up a hill Okay, okay, you can feel the magic tugging at you, trying to reel you back into facing your brother. And, um, so make a... Make a wisdom save. Oh, wisdom save. Come on. Come on, cleric monk. I hope so, too. Oh, hey. yeah, 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 you, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clean up, ah, that's a good way. <clears throat> there is, um, a sudden surge of magic that, um, 
seems to have begun with uh, Erevan shifting into an elf and now is finally settling into place. You and Noelia feel heavier. Like, you can feel just your arm just is, you know, even just holding up your arm is like an effort. And the two of you just are are denser. And you can, Erevan is slowing down underneath the two of you as the weight of his pack, you two, seems to have tripled. And he struggles to climb upward. So yeah, he casted haste on himself. So he's coming after you, and Aravan's slowing down. So Kayante, oh, what do you want to do? Uh oh. Oh gosh. Okay. okay. Well, how, well, how far, far away, away am I, am I from Thranian? Um, we'll say that you got like sixty feet away from him in okay. that distance. That's how that's far. That's not far at all. All right, and all right, then, then re-explain re to me what haste does. does. That just does, does it double his speed? Yeah, doubles his speed. It doubles his speed. So he's gonna okay. catch okay. up unless you do something. Okay. Okay. I mean. You're wicked fast monk stuff. I could I do, do fast, fast monk stuff. stuff. Fast monk stuff. Also, 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 also I'm, I'm not doing, doing well physically. physically. I am weak. So if I could do like a spell while I sit on top of Aerovan. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm like thinking a, of right now. You do like bonus action. Those are my bonus action actions. Movement. Yeah. What are my spell slots like? <laughs> so can I cast a spell while riding on top of an elk? Please? Yeah. Yeah, Yay! I don't see why okay, you couldn't do that. Sorry. Alright, um Is he still is he still blind? He should still be blind, right? Um Is Dispel a uh oh yeah, he is. He is blind. I forgot about that. Um so he just um he can still hear probably, so he probably heard us. Yeah, um like he Giant he could have just um asked Samira where she went or well he heard her fall and he was like what's going on and um yeah yeah okay well um oh I know she would actually just cast dispel magic on him well that's uh, rude I was looking forward to that All right. um anyway so if I can cast the spell while riding on top of an elk I would like to try and cast hold person okay so, so he you stays cast... in one spot did you um alright so you're casting hold person yeah, I, right. it's anyone I can see, and he have to do a, he has to do a wisdom save. Okay, so he's gonna is do it within range. Or... Anyone I can see, quick. sixty here. foot sixty foot range. We should uh, still be in range, yeah. just barely in range. Okay. Yeah, come on. What's my DC? Thanks. Okay. Man, yell. What's the uh, What's the save? It's wisdom. The save is fifteen. Okay. Um. No, no he, he didn't, didn't save. So. Ah! Pew, 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 pew. Hey. Yeah. yeah. But Those are my attempts at air horns. Pew, 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 pew. As you release the spell, stay right where you are. And um, you see <clears throat> Theranian, he's starting to walk forward and then he just kind of like walks in place. <laughs> uh, and it's just as Samira like lets off this uh, spell. And um, you, uh, for some reason, you see her kind of like, like start to dance a little bit. And she like, um, um, which is weird. You're not sure what's happening with there. But, you know, as soon as you let go of this spell, uh, you think to yourself, wow, you're like the best thing since ever. The best, best thing. thing. Oh my gosh. For those playing at home, that's how I personally feel every day of my life. Um, <laughs> confidence is everything. Confidence is everything. Anyway, so, right, okay, I'll be feeling good about herself, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Kayathi isn't used to feeling good about herself, so this is great. Yeah, um, she's, so she's enjoying it. <laughs> um, plus, I'm she's probably would be happy that the spell worked. Um, yes. Great. Is there anything I do? 
um, that I should do because I feel cool. You can't. Uh, so Araman uh, is has uh, reached the the hilltop. There we go. The zenith of the hilltop, and it's at this point that Nualia just kind of leaps off and says, "For whatever reason, we're slowing him down." And then she um, she looks around, and while you're up here, you you. You look around and see that this is not Berkus. There is a colorful array of flowers and trees that you do not recognize. Uh, just lush and, and like almost like carpet thick of just plant life. And there's a rainbow of a sky patterns in the air above and a tinkling array of mystical lights. It's breathtaking and beautiful and Nualia does not seem phased by it. She looks around and she says, oh, we, can, we should go this way. Um, there's an animal trail. And at that moment, her the the gravel beneath her like gives way and she starts to slip down. So, Kayanthi, what do you do? Am I in range of her? Can I grab her? Yeah, yeah. So you just want to- the monk stuff? Yeah. All right. Make a, do I roll for monk stuff? Yeah, make a dex check. Uh, can I just be so good I don't need to do the roll? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a sign that I did not roll well. It's okay, we can right. fail forward. So let's uh, be a uh, 9 plus 4 is 13. I mean, it's not bad. Okay. 13 to grab. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, there's a lot of her to grab. Yeah, you you grab her and then she actually kind of like latches onto you, and she's like, "Oh, thanks." And she says, "We should um, go down this hill. Just let's lean a little more this way." And she she points off to this uh, like patch of these blue, th- uh, blue um, like bushes. Since that's th- this is star indigo, you want to avoid it because. It'll make you light up like a tiki torch. And, um, mm-hmm. basically, uh, it casts fairy fire on you. So, like, you... You're, you're sparkly. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. You'll be That's very nice. sparkly. Something to avoid. Okay. <clears throat> and... Um, so, is, a uh, is Aravan still an elk? Yeah, he's he's still an elk. Okay. Well, Kayanthi is a little worried about him. Aravelk, if you will. Aravelk. Aravelk, Aravelk. Yeah. Aravelk. Yes. Aravelk is a good one. Um, yeah, so she, um... Well, maybe she... It, I don't know if they have time, but she, maybe she can go and, like, go to him and, like, you know, look him over, make sure he, he's not hurt or anything? Um, you're being rushed down, um... You have, like, a couple seconds to look him over, because, uh, like, okay. you have hold person and mm, uh, a bunch of, like, basically, uh, train that's difficult train to, like, get through. Okay. So you have a few seconds to look him over. Okay. So do a medicine check. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, I'm what do here. I do? I'm sitting. Medicine. All right. Fifteen. I am. Um, his animal form appears to be fine. Okay. Um. You okay. can. I mean, he, he understands you, and like he's as Aravan. Okay. Well then, um, yeah, she's just can't see what you say, there's like one thing. And she's just gonna, like, uh, maybe, like, if she can't put, like, her hand, like, on his face on the side there, and I was like, I'm so glad you're safe. Don't worry. We'll take care of this. Oh. Oh, Elkhead. Oh. <laughs> Good, because Kayanthi will take any good sign, because she feels like she's just ruined his life. So, yeah. And Nualia is like, come on, we should hide over here. So, um, okay. roll, roll for stealth. Roll for monk hide. Roll for stealth. And then, do we, just hold person, do we roll every turn? Or Give me a second. So I rolled a 15 for stealth. Cool. That's the wrong one. All right. Um, yeah. So at the end of each turn, he needs to do another wisdom save to beat fifteen. Uh, 
Okay. He 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 met the DC. So <clears throat> you um, go hiding in in the forest, and um, Noelia slips into the trees. Uh, Aravan surprisingly hides pretty well despite his large size, given um, his coat just uh, blends into the, the foliage. <clears throat> and at the top of the hill, you can see Theranian looking around, and um, he doesn't seem to have seen you, so then he goes and turns down this other direction. And Is he still held? He broke the... Oh, he broke it. Okay, yeah. I, I missed that part. He met, like, yeah, he met the DC. So now we're gonna enter phase where we're gonna do like skill checks. So you guys are gonna do like stealth or survival checks versus Theranian and Samira's like perception rolls. So make a make another roll. Oh boy. Or maybe like the Pink Panther song. Look, he just needs to roll badly, and then you'll be fine. I'm praying. Fingers crossed. Maybe I should cast Bane on him while he's not looking. Cast Bane on a big tree that he's next to, and then hope that it lands on him. <laughs> you can get three targets, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be so, yeah. Maybe I can do Bane on both of them so they can't really them for Okay, uh, Kayanthi, It'll be fine. Aravan and Noelia are, are going through the forest ahead of you. Uh, Nuwalia seems pretty adept to walking these these areas. She knows how to walk across the, the ground and not make noise, and she'll kind of skulk between the shadows. Ervan, um, as an elk, he can maneuver pretty well. You can hear in the distance Theranian and Samira going around, like, where did they go? I don't think they went this way. Well, what about over there? And then Sumer says, wait, I think I see them. And so he, uh, at 18, they collectively got an 18. So, uh, Kayanthi, you are going to get an arrow shot. Oh, good. Of, as he pulls back his bow and arrow and fires, and you're going to take... Yeah, six points of piercing damage. So I just get hit? Yeah, I, I rolled to hit. Um, you're, um, uh, well, what's your DC? Is it, is it, um... My AC is 18. He rolled a 17 plus 8. Mm. He had good dice. Alright, so, six damage. Yeah. It goes and, like, pins you in your shoulder. Ow. And, yeah. And okay. And so... Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This is bad. So we're gonna do the best thing that Kayami can do. And she's just going to, uh, she doesn't want to slow down her buds. Um, and, uh, she's not doing well. And so she is going to hiss at, uh, Erevan and Noalia and just say, just go, keep going. And because that it hurt her hard, and so she stops walking, and she is just gonna collapse to the ground and just kind of play dead for a little bit to make him feel like he got her, because he did. Um, Aravan... You have to negotiate your, your whole uh, situation when someone else isn't being levied against you. Yeah. Run, you're being used as emotional blackmail! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Kanthi's, Kanthi's going to stay where she is so her, so Aravan and Noalia can get away, and plus, she's not doing too well anyway, so keeping running might not just be helpful at all, so. Um, Aravan shifts back okay. to his half-elven form. There is a uh, surge of wildness. Uh, wait, no, I need more. 
Wait, what? 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 <laughs> What's going on? So, um, as he, he dispels his, um, his wild form, his wild shape. I guess that would be canceling magic. And then he looks at you and he says, I'm done running. And then he's going to cast... Uh, he, has, he has cure wounds. So he's going to cast that... Uh, Hello, this is Tiffany, your GM for Dungeon Damsels. We update on Wednesdays and Saturdays now at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have merchandise on our Redbubble and on links via the link tree. We also have coffee and a Patreon if you wish to donate to us. Please like, subscribe, and comment as we would love to hear from you. Uh, you can also find us on basically every podcast platform out there if you can't sit down and listen to a YouTube video. And if you're wondering why we don't stream, it's because my internet can't support it. But uh, regardless, thank you for listening and watching. And remember to be kind, inclusive, and loving.